Okay, here's a screen recording to show you how to set up the camera for remote shooting. On the dock at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the EOS utility. We're going to start that up. The camera is connected already with a uh, standard USB cable and it's turned on. If you're not seeing all of these options show up, you might need to try a different USB cable or a different camera. There might be a connection issue. For now, I'm going to choose camera settings and remote shooting, and that will open up this control panel here, which allows us to control the camera. So from here, I can directly control all of the settings that are on the camera. And here are a couple things I'm going to make sure are set up before I start shooting. The first is going to be the location of where it saves the files to. Right now, it's going to start capturing files and putting them on my desktop, which is going to get pretty disorganized and messy quickly. So I'm going to change the shooting location. I have a folder already set on my desktop called Photos Grade 10 Period 5, so I'm going to browse for that folder that's on the desktop and mark that <laughs> as the location for, uh, for recording and saving the images to. So I've selected that folder. I can see it chosen here. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do from top to bottom is make sure that the camera's shutter speed and aperture are ready for use with the flash. The shutter speed is how long the, the sensor exposes to light. Because I'm using a flash unit, the strobe units, I'm going to set that shutter speed quite high or a medium speed at 125th of a second. If it doesn't say 125, double click on here and simply change the options so you see 125 here. The next uh, option I'm going to set is the aperture. That's like the pupil of your eye that opens and closes to let light in. I'm going to set that at about a medium aperture of f11. Okay? The higher this number gets, the darker your image will be. I'm going to also set the white balance on the camera to flash. White balance is how the camera sees the color white. Because I'm using a flash unit as my light source, I'm going to match my white balance setting to flash. Okay, if it's on any of these other settings, simply come back and change it to the little lightning bolt flash symbol. The ISO, or the speed of the camera, that's how sensitive the camera is to light, I'm going to keep that set fairly low. That'll keep my image quality at the highest, so I'll leave it at 100 ISO. I'm going to make sure that the camera is recording a large JPEG file, so that I'm getting nice, high-quality file. And at the moment, the camera is going to save the file both to the camera's internal memory card and to the computer at the same time. That's just good backup. In case I lose files on the computer, I'd still have them on the camera. And after all of that, I'm ready to actually take a photo. Akila, if you can go back into the scene there. We'll take a photo here and have a look. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I think your theme today will be I think, so I'd like you to try a position like this. <laughs> Let's try from the side. Okay, excellent. And here's our picture. I'm going to zoom in a little bit on the Kila. Press halfway down on the shutter button on the camera to focus. I can zoom if I like. Press all the way to take the picture. And there's our first photo. The photo shows up on screen here immediately. I can zoom in and make it a little bit bigger here. This file browser also popped up immediately, and it's showing me the contents of that folder on the desktop. I could change it, but I'm going to leave it here so we can see the photos as they're taken. Now, this photo isn't uh, too badly lit. The green screen wall in the back is nice and evenly lit, but we don't really have a silhouette. There's too much light that's falling on the keel on the subject. So let's try that shot again. If you move back into the photo. But this time, instead of having him close to the green screen wall, I'm going to have him move six or eight feet from the wall so that the light from the flash will not fall on him. You're going to try your pose again. Here's the photo. There's our second photo. And now you can see we have a silhouette. I'm black. <laughs> the light's falling on the background, but can anybody spot a potential problem with photoshopping this picture later? The floor. The floor. We're seeing the floor. We're seeing the area where the green screen wall stops and the floor begins. I can make a simple change here by just lowering the camera a little bit so that I keep as much of the green screen wall behind him as possible. So you're going to take that position one more time. Okay. This time I'm going to lower the camera right down and we'll try that shot again. There. 
now I have a nice clean silhouette. I can still see just a hint of detail here in his body. Not a problem. We can quickly get rid of that in Photoshop. But this is a nice, sharp, well-focused image, properly exposed, and that one's ready for, uh, for Photoshop work to create your silhouette. I'm a shadow.